The Secret Service is looking for comedian John Melendez following his prank call to President Trump as he flew on Air Force One. Hi, Bob. Congratulations on everything. We're proud of you. Congratulations. Great job. Secret Service agents came knocking on the comedian's door at 10 o'clock at night here in Los Angeles. John Melendez did not answer. The agents apparently spoke with several neighbors and showed their badges before they left. I spoke to Melendez by phone today. He admitted being nervous and told me, quote, things just got real. He also confirmed he's hired lawyer Michael Avenatti, best known for representing porn star Stormy Daniels. Avenatti spoke by phone with MSNBC. I do have concern that there could be, uh, there could be potential charges flowing from this, especially if the president attempts to make an example out of him. Melendez was patched through to Air Force One after claiming to be the U.S. Senator from New Jersey, Bob Menendez, who was acquitted of corruption charges earlier this year. You went through a tough, tough situation. Thank you so much. So could Melendez, a.k.a. stuttering John from his days as Howard Stern's sidekick, actually face criminal charges? Randy Zellin is a criminal defense attorney. Stuttering John said, hey, I am Senator Bob Menendez on the line for President Trump. It is a clear violation of federal law when you impersonate a federal public official. Melendez says he knows President Trump from his many appearances on The Stern Show. He told us last week he sure hopes the president can take a joke. No, no, I'm sorry, dude. I, you know, I was just goofing around. Don't be surprised if this gets taken really, really seriously and that an example is made of stuttering John.